Solomon's Vegas Adventures. Hey y'all, how's it going? This is Solomon here from Solomon's Vegas Adventures, and today we're going to explore the June Bug Mine. So stay tuned to watch some desert exploration. Are we gonna find gold in them hills? Are we gonna find silver? Are we going to find anything at all? Stay tuned and watch to find out. So for starters, June Bug Mine is kind of in the boonies at the foot of Gas Peak, and I parked at the north end of Decatur Boulevard to get there. So really not much is known about June Bug Mine. This is a report that I made myself, and it kind of has a lot of geology in it, just because I'm a geology student about to graduate with my degree in geology from UNLV. But basically it's an old mine that they got lead, zinc, and, you know, small amounts of gold and silver from, and... Other than that, not much is known about it. I couldn't really find any historical documents, you know, talking about how old it is or anything like that. It's really kind of an enigma when it comes to, uh, you know, areas around here. So I was like, okay, let's check it out. So I mapped it out in Google Earth, and the hike itself is seven miles more or less. Um, you know, there's no trail, so you just really kind of bushwhack through until you get to the canyon. Um, but without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys. When you come to Junebug Mine from North Decatur, which is where we came from, right by the shooting range, you're gonna wanna aim diagonally for the base of that hill. For the base of this, this mountain right here, you're gonna aim diagonally, that's the quickest way. All right, everybody, Solomon here. We're uh, about to drop into the canyon at Junebug Mine. So, uh, let's go. All right, so we have just dropped into the canyon June bug mine is at the back of this canyon. Pretty nice canyon, pretty remote, pretty pristine out here. All right, guys, the canyon is really opening up. If you can hear that <laughs> fighter jets, we're near Nellis Air Force Base. We're in the Desert National Wildlife Refuge, but we're actually pretty close to uh, Area 51. Hopefully we don't get abducted by aliens. All right, guys, so up there, you can actually see one of the faults. Uh, you see that? It looks like a line between the uh, lighter layer on top and the lower, darker layer on the bottom. Uh, that's a fault, and that's where a lot of the deposits are in this mine. So we've got the Monte Cristo limestone above it, the lighter, the lighter uh, unit. And then below it, we've got the Bird Spring Formation. Okay, guys, we're getting deeper and deeper into the canyon. Junebug Mine is on the right side up here. We're getting to the back of the canyon. The mines are right up there. You can see the tailings and the entrance. Let's go. This, you can't see it well in the video, but in this fault, that's literally all zinc ore right there in the form of hydrozincite. And it goes, who knows how far this fault goes, but there is a lot of zinc in this vein right here, in this fault right here. We're getting deeper and deeper into the canyons. And we've seen prospecting pits on the side. Um, you know, there was one that was full of zinc. A fault there. All right, guys. I'm not sure if you can tell. Really nice view. But it is quite a climb to get up here. Um, and we're not even up to the mine yet. We have reached the bottom of the tailing pile here at Junebug Mine. I guess the only way is up. Is that gold? No gold in this one, but we have got lots of zinc lead in this one very heavy too you can feel it we've got some beautiful calcite here I got me collecting <laughs> we're not even in the mine yet we're just in the tailing pile but it's pretty interesting we are not even in the mine yet we're just at the bottom of the tailings pile and there is so much there's an abundance this is filled with zinc and lead it is so heavy and dense and there's calcite here at the bottom this is really cool guys really cool that looks really old there's an old campfire ring here and a lot of old equipment who knows when this mine ended but it's up there we're gonna go for it so my boy ubed right here found some fucking gorgeous malachite some copper right there it wow nice find well everybody we made it to the top of the mine tailings but unfortunately, it looks so, like the mine's been either sealed off or we're just not at the right place because there's no entrance, there's no nothing. 
there's lots of cool minerals in the tailings. Um, you know, we found some copper, we found a lot of zinc, found some lead, lots of beautiful calcites. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. We came all the way up these tailing piles. We didn't find any entrance, but I almost think that the entrance to the mine is over there. You can see some old wooden crap. You can see like, a, it looks like a path and there's like a little cave that the path like ends at. I think that that's the entrance to the mine. All right guys, so we were just coming down the tailing pile and I stumbled across some silver. Look at that, that's gorgeous. It's a, you can't really see it right now because it's, we're not in the sun, but this is, you've got some silver in this calcite from the replacement in the fall. This is pretty good find. All right guys, top of the mine there, the tailings. I'm gonna show you some of our loot. And when I say loot, I mean we actually found some pretty dope stuff. We've got silver in this calcite right here. You can see that luster, that metallic luster, that's all silver. Another silver rock there. We've got copper, you know, you see the, that's some copper and zinc. We've got beautiful calcites. It's kind of blurry, let's, let's focus. Yeah, we've got beautiful calcites. All in all, pretty successful day, and we didn't even have to go in a mine, just from the tailings. Well, successfully came down from Junebug Mine. Overall, pretty cool. Pretty cool place. Looks like they might have sealed the entrance. Not sure. But we still got ourselves some cool minerals, some cool stuff. And now we're just dropping back in the canyon and making our way back to the car. All right, guys. Well, we're leaving Junebug Mine right now. We're headed back towards the car. Overall, it was pretty great. Um, we didn't get into the actual mine because we went up the wrong tailings. Um, the tailings to the right are the ones that actually has the entrance to the mine. We didn't go up there. We still got some cool loot um, and we'll definitely be coming back next time, this time with more friends. But you know, we were scoping it out and uh, this is a very not well-known place at all. I couldn't find any literature on it any information on it. I was just exploring Google Maps one day and I came across it. Um, so yeah. Guys, this view really opens up once you get out of the canyon. Look at that. You can see Mount Charleston over there, La Madre, Red Rock, Mount Potosi, City of Las Vegas, McCullough Mountains, Black Mountain, Frenchman over there. Crazy. All right, guys. So we're returning um, from Junebug Mine, of course. And, you know, most of the hike is this long diagonal stretch on the alluvial fan in front of Gas Peak from the north end of Decatur. So when you're coming back to the car, just aim for those like water tank things. And if those are not visible because they won't be visible for some of it, just aim for like Red Rock and these mountains here in the view. I stumbled across this. That is a bunch of fossils in this rock. Looks like a looks like some coral. Pretty cool. So overall, we actually found quite a bit of loot. Um, you know, you saw the silver, you saw the calcite, you saw the copper and the lead, but we also had gold. And I'm being serious, guys. We legit found gold. I hid that from you guys purposely, but I did my research and what you're looking at is gold. Now it's not the metallic golden nugget kind of thing, but in this deposit that's not how the gold would actually come out. What you're looking at is oxidized gold, but still gold nonetheless. So it's true. There is gold in them hills. Now this one is kind of an amalgamation of both zinc and lead. You've got the darker galena, the lighter smithsonite, and some cerucene, which looks kind of spindly. But all in all, this specimen is mainly lead and zinc, as expected. Now this one that came with the chunk of malachite, the copper, also has some wolfenite, which is a lead molybdenum sulfate. Um, and also some azurite, which would be the blue. But overall, pretty cool. Junebug mine. Well, that was a successful expedition. We're almost back at the car. And uh, thanks for tuning in.
Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more uh, content. And, you know, this channel's just getting started, so we're going to have a lot more Vegas exploration videos going up. Thank you, guys. Peace.